Forget supersonic, we are now looking at hypersonic speed as the Pentagon unveils test results of the Falcon, an aircraft that can travel 13,000 miles an hour, fast enough to carry out military strikes anywhere in the world in less than an hour. They're trying to develop a vehicle that can travel at immense speeds through the upper atmosphere with high forces and very high heat, and to be able to control that vehicle so that it can hit an intended target thousands of miles away. We're looking, at the the purpose... yeah, we're looking at the launch of the missile that then releases this thing, and it basically glides back to Earth with a, a rocket assist at, what, 13,000 miles an hour? Uh, yes, that's right. The, the rocket gives it the initial boost, and then it comes back down and glides through the upper atmosphere using that velocity given by the rocket, and then steers and maneuvers its way to its final target. And the idea is that you use it to hit a target at roughly 13,000 miles an hour. The, the, the impact, the G-forces at impact, obliterate whatever the target is if you can hit it, right? Hypersonic weapon that travels five times the speed of sound and can hit any target on Earth in 30 minutes. A hypersonic flying missile that can strike a target anywhere in the world in just 30 minutes has been unveiled by the United States military. The advanced hypersonic weapon, AHW, which travels five times the speed of sound, was successfully tested yesterday. It was launched by rocket from Hawaii at 11.30 a.m., guided southwestwards through the upper atmosphere over the Pacific at hypersonic speed before hitting its target on a Kalawa alien atoll in the Marshall Islands some 2,500 miles away. And there's a picture of it. Hypersonic, the U.S. has tested a weapon which could look similar to this Falcon HTV-2 that can strike anywhere in the world within 30 minutes of being launched. Now it comes hot on the heels of the U.S. Air Force announcement that it has taken delivery of eight 15-ton bunker buster bombs called Massive Ordnance Penetrator that can blow apart 200 foot of concrete. And if it is rolled out by the U.S. military, it will mean America will no longer have to rely on stationary missiles in foreign countries. The Pentagon did not reveal how fast the HAW would, unlike traditional ballistic mi missiles, can be maneuvered reached. Spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Melinda Morgan said the test was aimed at gathering data on aerodynamics, navigation, guidance, and control, and thermal projection technologies. The U.S. Army's HAW project is part of the Prompt Global Strike Program. It seeks to give the U.S. military the means to deliver conventional weapons anywhere in the world within an hour. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.